Oh, it's actually Tap. didn't come up that weird, but he's going back to French cuisine. Yep. Um, so you came. So you've obviously come over from New Zealand. When whenabouts did you come over to so, Australia? Interestingly enough, my I as a kid, I grew up about four and a half hours north, north yeah, northwest of Brisbane, on a dairy farm. And so I actually grew up, most of my life has been in Australia. Born in New Zealand, at the age of three moved to Queensland. So where's that, Rocky? Oh. Inland a little bit further. Wow. Yes, okay. actually funny Long story. Route? No. No, Maribara. Maribara. Okay. Maribara. Yeah, we looked at a, we've looked at supermarkets in Maribara. Pram City. Uh, yeah. Kid, g- kids up there. I mean, there was nothing going on up there. Uh, up in Maribara. Like kids having kids. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I... Sp- Till the age of 13, 14, had a very rural upbringing. Yep. I mean, we, had, we even had our own BMX track. So, in this life. So, were you cooking? Oh, I was in, I was in, oh, like, uh, you know, bull's testicles and stuff on an open fire. We'd catch our own freshwater fish. We would grow things at the back of the chook pen. Like, I loved cooking. I was always going to be a cook no matter what. True story. Okay. So, that was that fire to want to cook? It was burning deep inside. <laughs> And it was <laughs> what ball, balls? You're cooking balls. Whoa! I wasn't touching anything, bro. <laughs> Relax. Come on, man. <laughs> no, the balls, balls testicles. So uh, uh, each season, like, you know, we would denac the, the the young calves. They would get horned. They'd yep. get branded. They'd get dipped. So balls testicles was just part of growing up. It's funny because I tell it as a story, but it's a true story. They would eat them on a, on a uh, hot shovel over open coals. They'd put the balls testicles on there and just cut them, eat them with salt. So you cooked that caveman, like on the coal? On a shovel. Uh, so a uh, shovel. Yeah, yeah. Shovel. You'd love it, Oliver. You would love it. Look at you, like, uh, mm, licking his lips and everything. He's going, I know what you're talking about. A little bit chilly. Mm? So good. No, actually, it was horrible. But it was sort of like, you're right of passage. Like, you're with the, you're the, 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 um, the stockman, the other farmers, yeah. and, like, you're the kid, like... And maybe actually, do you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I think the guys, the older guys, the farmers, were like just having a good laugh. What you meet it? So I just, I just went so good. So, I thought I was a chef then. So did you notice you were the only one eating it? No, buggers, buggers. What have they done? <laughs> no, it's mountain oysters. You've never heard of them, but I've eaten them since. Yeah, I'm. Trying not to my favorite. Not my I favorite. I don't know if I've had that many balls in my mouth. I can't. What? I JP. I can't recall too many. Pretty sure I saw it. <laughs> that time you come to Sydney. I won't tell anyone. Oh, yeah, the Mardi Gras. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, now, now, it's a, now it's coming back to me. Why are you, why are you going all blushy and shy? I know, I know. It's hot in here, isn't it?